yoga makes me feel energized for any work that I need to do, but also it makes me much more relaxed, uh, so I can do all the things much better. I feel so peaceful and calm at the end of the class. Especially uh, when I finish the yoga, I feel my body very ready to uh, sleep and maybe I can do yoga uh, in my life before I go to the sleep. <laughs> it makes you feel a lot calmer, it makes you feel um, kind of like lengthened and stretched out which is quite nice because after an entire day of say, sitting or doing your own thing you sort of just feel like you're compressed a little bit so um, with yoga it just kind of relaxes you. During yoga classes, um, depends from yoga asanas, um, I feel a relaxation or challenges and stretch, um, but what is important to reach harmony. Sometimes uh, it can have amazing effects and can make me feel really relaxed and in the zone. Sometimes, I don't know, it depends on different factors, I don't uh, reach this feeling. I feel a lot more relaxed after the yoga class um, and I've sort of checked in with how I'm feeling, my emotions and like reconnected mind and spirit and body and everything. Uh, in working with young people uh, in youth work as well as in yoga is actually being, uh, being honest and uh, uh, being honest with them not like adults towards young people but like we are on the same level communication and understanding. In yoga is the same. That means that uh, in yoga we bring a new method close to them to their uh, daily routine to their challenges they're facing in real life. So uh, presenting yoga is actually how yoga can respond on their daily challenges, meaning how they respond on stress they're having in their personal life, in professional life, uh, dealing with uh, uh, partners, with parents, with friends, uh, how they respond on the uh, perception of their body uh, uh, and uh, uh, making them to feel comfortable in their body with their emotions, accepting our, their, their selves. In my experience, I think something a bit dynamic to start with. Again, to channel the energy, to bring people into their bodies. If we go into a, a style that is a bit slower, um, it might be challenging to be still again because of lack of focus. Um, so it might be well to, it might be good to first get the energy out, work on something in a dynamic way, and slowly slow down. So I would say vinyasa or hatha yoga style. I just have started the yoga in my life. Uh, but sometimes in some days uh, I feel so busy and so uh, nervous in my daily life and I can uh, use yoga to uh, slow down my heartbeats because sometimes my heartbeats go so faster and faster. Uh, so I can use yoga to relax myself. I am trying to use yoga constantly uh, because yoga is very good for relaxation and to relax our body, to learn to breathe, what is one of the hardest thing, uh, things in my life because I don't know to breathe correctly. And after my yoga classes, I'm trying to, uh, to continue that process of breath, breathing and I feel much, much better. I've never even been to a yoga class before um, and after the sessions I'm much more um, interested in maybe finding a good YouTube tutorial video or a class or something? I don't uh, do yoga, practice yoga regularly. Uh, I do it from time to time, uh, but I'm enjoying uh, small uh, yoga or meditation sessions in different situations and I also use breathing from yoga. I started the yoga for the first time here 
and I like it a lot and uh, for the future I will use yoga in my daily life to to have a better wake up, to feel more relaxed and to feel energized for the day. From a teacher's point of view, um, same as when I have a group of beginners of any age, which would be different physical abilities, different capabilities. Um, why it might be then another challenge with young people would be sometimes the lack of focus. You know, we're challenged by a lot of different stimuli and being on the phone constantly, and this is even more um, visible with young people. So maybe having something that where they can focus a bit more or channel their energy also a bit more. The greatest challenge is actually uh, responding on needs of new generation of young people because a uh, new generation of young people is more used to be on social uh, networks uh, uh, having communication only on digital way and this is something maybe new for them Bringing yoga more fun for them is actually a challenge. Uh, transferring regular yoga class to be more fun and short and then uh, young people actually can use something that they learn on yoga class that they can use in daily level on their home and when they're uh, on university or in a school. So uh, communicating about yoga with young people is uh, actually meaning that uh, they're starting thinking about themselves, about their body, about their emotions, about uh, their state of mind. So that is actually challenging, bringing themselves to themselves, meaning uh, that they accept themselves as they are.